That is some serious shit right there, boy. In almost every corner of the earth. It's gonna hit the shock. Watch out. Every moment of every day. Damn. Oh my God. Cameras are rolling on the most heart-stopping, <laughs> gut-wrenching. Ah! awe-inspiring this is insane weather out there we don't really know how to react look at that dude so we wind up mesmerized you can't pull away this is reality tv you think you know your weather our team breaks down the science behind the storm you can see the water flowing into the vortex inside the most shocking viral videos that will blow your mind. You can study it, you can forecast it, and you can analyze it, but you can never fully predict the weather or its impact on our lives. Think the road's safe? You may be mistaken. Got ice on your car? You're not going anywhere. Longing for a cool breeze? Be careful what you wish for. That's the beauty of Mother Nature. From the unexpected, to the unforgettable, to the downright unbelievable. She's always got something new and different up her sleeve. Welcome to Dubai the largest city in the United Arab Emirates and one of the richest cities in the world. The magnificent high-rise buildings here are so tall that on rare special days, they literally tower over the weather. Well, there's some fascinating meteorology going on here, no doubt about that. I mean, check out this fog bank. Fog is a cloud just near the ground. So this is caused by the fact that the ground has cooled, but the air coming off the Persian Gulf is warm. This remarkable event only happens in Dubai a few times a year. So for anyone who's ever wanted to float through a cloud, today's your lucky day. Thanks to this fearless base jumper. He looks a little nervous. There's a little trepidation in his face as he's turning around there. Do I really want to do this? Base jumping is essentially free falling off a tall object with a parachute on your back. Good luck. He's got the, the crash helmet on, which is the most useless thing in the world when it comes to skydiving. I mean, what exactly are you gonna save? It's believed that the jumper is on an upper balcony at the Salafa Tower, which tops out at more than 900 feet. Ready, set. This would freak me out. I love a good adventure, but this might be taking it a touch too far. He just says one, two, three, and just jumps. Poof, into the clouds. Notice he opens the chute before he gets to the cloud. So he's in a controlled descent through the cloud. You're just hoping that there's not something sharp, hard, or deadly on the other side of that cloud. Our base jumper may not be able to see much, but at least he doesn't have to worry about a sudden burst of wind. When there's fog, there actually wouldn't be a wind gust because if there was winds, then you wouldn't have the fog. It'd be mixing up the atmosphere. Either way, windy, sunny, rainy, stormy, I'm not doing it. The descent itself has taken less than 50 seconds. It's really weird because when he lands and he looks up, he can't really see the top of the buildings because of the clouds. And when he's on top trying to go down, he really can't see the ground. Once on the ground, the jumper has just one more thing to worry about. This is not exactly allowed by authorities, if you know what I'm saying. It's legal. True or false, most clouds are practically weightless. Those big, fluffy, cumulus clouds may look as light as cotton balls when they're floating above our heads. But in reality, an average cumulus can easily weigh a million pounds or more. It has been said that when people look at a cloud, they see whatever it is that their heart yearns for. That's certainly the case for filmmaker Mike Olbinski, who has made a career out of his passion for the weather. The thrill of doing this is that no matter how many times I do it, I feel like I always see something different. Weather, so every storm has a different color, different textures. I'm constantly blown away. 
We've been following Mike's videos for years and he releases a new one and all of us meteorologists will gather around the computer and look slack jawed at these unbelievable images. You think you've seen it all, but you really haven't. Every time you look at it, there's something you pick out that you say, wow, this is mother nature at its finest. With his time lapses, Mike compresses weather events that typically unfold over hours into a burst of powerful drama. Wow, it's so mesmerizing. You see the fluidity, you see the changes, you see the tumultuous turning over of air, and it's spectacular. I try to tell a story with them as best I can and try to evoke some emotion and try to keep the best stuff for last to have like a grand finale. In May 2016, Mike finds his ultimate grand finale outside Winniewood, Oklahoma. I ran up the hill and was just praying for a good view, and I got it. I couldn't have done anything better. If I ever had a good targeting day or positioning day, that was the day. It's the first time Mike has captured such a complete view of a tornado. And as with many of his videos, Mike learned something new and unexpected. Once a tornado's on the ground, you would kind of assume it's gonna move along at like a steady pace. But on time-lapse, you'll see it's moving across and then all of a sudden the top will go forward, but the bottom is, looks like it's almost stuck to the ground. When you do get those massive storms and he shows you the view through a time-lapse like this, sometimes you can't even believe it's real and that that is nature in motion. Capturing the awesome power of weather is what inspires Michael Binsky. And that makes the demanding hours and the long days on the road worthwhile. It's exhilarating and amazing when you get a beautiful storm coming at you. It's incredible. I'm very lucky and, and hopefully it just keeps going because I love doing this. And every year, I just want to get better and better at what I do. Even though 80% of all tornadoes occur in the US and Canada, the first officially documented tornado on the continent touched down in what is now Mexico City in August of 1521. Chances are you'll never see a tornado while traveling in Mexico, but if you do, it may very likely be one for the books. Just check out this twister that blew through the state of Chihuahua on May 30th, 2017. Wow, look at that swirl. That's really cool. It's almost like the uh, storm is on its side. Not every tornado is straight up and down. Sometimes they really undulate quite a bit. So the first thing I thought when I saw this video was, why are you shooting it vertically? Why does everybody shoot videos vertically? Stop doing that. Any complaints about the camera work, however, must take a back seat to the weirdness of the storm itself. It's like a, a big, long vacuum cleaner tube coming down out of a cloud. You can imagine how people without uh, any kind of experience with this would think that something has gone wrong with Mother Nature. But it's more than just the narrow, twisting clouds. It's the wild color of the vortex that has the locals on edge. Well, anytime you see a tornado, it's an incredibly rare event. But then, when it looks like a blood tornado, well, there's an explanation for every bit of it. This is a rope tornado, and when tornadoes end their life cycle, they do what's called roping out, and what's happening is the vortex is getting extended over a big distance. And then, of course, there's that red color, an unusual contrast to the lighter colors of the funnel. You look up and it's gray. Uh, that's just uh, essentially a shadow of the cloud. And then down toward the bottom, it has that brownish red color because it's now picking up Earth. You can actually see tornadoes just like this in Oklahoma because the soil is very similar in Oklahoma. It's that red clay. Here we have a situation of a weather phenomenon that's actually pretty common, but it's such a bizarre version of it that it looks supernatural. It really looks like it's from a movie. Coming up, a wicked windstorm wreaks havoc in Moscow. That thing just exploded. And hellacious hail hits hard. Oh my God! When Weather Gone Viral continues.